Hello, wow, this is really high. Hi, you're welcome. Today we are reviewing Beach Boys, what we did yesterday. And then we're also going to review songs that we've done before. So let me know when you join the live stream. Yay, okay, we have some people joining. So if you have a wooden ukulele, um, I recommend that you get a, a humidifier if you live in a very dry area or if you have the AC on a lot. Sometimes ACs will dry the space. So um, I will link this down below once I do the re-upload and I'll link it on the upswipe on my stories on Instagram. So um, this is an Oasis humidifier and what this is is I just fill it with water and then, um, and hi everyone. I fill it with water and then it has this little device, plastic piece, and hi Annie. And then it, you just fit it in between the strings and adjust it and it sits in there. And if the ukulele is lacking a little bit of moisture, hi Sarah, then um, it, it takes it from here. It's not porous to the point where it leaks, but it works its magic somehow. It's like really cool. So I'll link this down below. If you have a wooden ukulele, it's really nice to have this on there. I especially recommend it with ukuleles that you hang. So this is the one that I hang right there. Um, so if you're, hi, hi Anna. If you're gonna hang your ukulele, I definitely, or leave it out, I definitely recommend a humidifier caring for your instrument. So I had the whiteboard off because I did a little Zoom lesson right now um, with one of my friends from middle school. <clears throat> He's a music teacher now, and his now middle school, high school students are learning ukulele, and I was teaching them the island strum. I feel like a century. I haven't seen you since a century ago. <laughs> So if you're teaching the island strum, this is a really good way to approach it. The hand should always move in down up, down up, down up motion. But on the green, you don't touch the strings, you just move. Hi George! So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. But the hand should move the entire time. And thank you to the 36 people who've hit the like button. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you everyone who's here. So. <clears throat> Um, I made this plug yesterday. I'm gonna do it again today. If you'd like to join the Patreon family, I am working on creating more booklets and content like this. So I created an ukulele activity booklet. I'm gonna get this bound once I've colored it. So I'm gonna color it on camera and do like a little time lapse. But um, I created some uh, index cards for you to test yourself with the names of chords. And instead of just adding D, like the name of D chord, I called it by its full name D major and D minor, B flat. So I think it's important to know the full names of the chords, like C is C major. And um, so you have the index cards, we have word search, a crossword puzzle, and uh, some nice quotes and coloring pages. So uh, some people have already completed these and sent me their coloring pages and I really love them. So uh, keep sending those to me. And uh, time you enjoy wasting is not time wasted. So let's not waste, waste some time together. Um, a time lapse would be so cool. Thank you, Carmen. Yeah, so I'm gonna color a few of these uh, time lapse for. Okay. So today I wanted to do a little bit of the Beach Boys. The song was pretty simple. Um, so then I thought it'd be nice to review the other songs that we've done. Um, and then please refresh whatever you had from yesterday because I, I did update the principle both on Patreon and on the free principle. Hi Gracie. Hi everybody. If I don't get um, to say hi to you here, just continue chatting throughout the lesson, about the lesson, and I will, at one point, I'll be able to comment on one of your um, comments. Hi Jean, is it Jean or Jean? Let me know how to pronounce that correctly so I can say it right. Okay, so 
So, let's go to the verse where we have Fs. You can see that there's a tab as part of the intro and Olga has just added the free printable link. Um, and Miss Dalimore, yes, a baritone is a really great start for you for guitar. So if you look at the last four notes of the tab, hola profesor! If you look at the last four notes of the tab, you can do the melody to the song. And then you can start the song. Nice if we were older and we wouldn't have to wait so long. So you could do those four notes um, for both of those parts. For wouldn't it be nice and and we wouldn't have to wait so long. So what I'm talking about, if you look at the intro, the last four notes is zero, three, one, three. What you get that? This is the Ortega uh, Acacia Top. Uh, this is my favorite Ortega ukulele. I've played it so much that I chipped away at the sound hole or the rosette. Hi, Sayara. And I don't care that I've chipped away at it. It kind of tells me like, yeah, I've practiced a lot. So yeah, and it has a, asymmetric uh, headstock. I put my hair tie on here to hang it. Asymmetric headstock and then um, gold colored um, like tuners, which I think is different. Um, most of them have them in the chrome. So yeah, I want you to try that. right to add that little bit it's not like crazy it's pretty simple but it just adds so much musically to the song so please practice those four notes okay so practice doing those four notes and landing on it and then try it again and land on b flat Okay, go ahead and practice that. I'm gonna write some chords. And thank you everyone for hitting the like button. We are almost at 100 likes. I think we can get there before we hit the 10 minutes. And somebody said it was their first time here. Cesar? Hola, saludos. And Professor is here watching. Thank you, Professor, for all the music that you're making for our Patreon. We love it. Professor and I are actually working on a really nice project right now. One of the booklets, kind of like the activity booklet, um, but something with more music. So um, I'm really excited to share that with you. I'm hoping to have it ready by next Tuesday. Tuesdays is when I publish content from the profe. So we have this B flat, uh, F B flat G minor seven C pattern happen twice. Um, this I recommend you memorize. So go ahead and have your fingers practice this sequence. Oh, it's C7. That's even better. Practice this sequence. Memorize it. Give eight beats, then four, four, four. If you can memorize it, woohoo! I've missed being here. I've progressed so much since we started. Yay! And we hit the hundred likes. Everybody, yeah. D minor, C minor, D minor, A minor seven. Thank you for catching all the chords that I had missed yesterday. <laughs> Hopefully everything is on this sheet now. That's kind of the nice thing about doing a song two days in a row is that it gives me that time to improve the principle through your feedback. 
Like, everyone needs someone to proofread their stuff, you know. The song for tomorrow. I saved it. I'm not remembering where it is right now off the top of my head, but I... Oh. It's an oldie, too. Thank you, Sarah. Cheers. Oh, I ran out of water. Oh, I have a little bit. All right, Sarah, this is for you. Cheers to your health. Hi, Ben. Okay. Let's try, um, I'll give you one, two. Fun and every nice. Okay, so I will say one, two, you start on the picking. Let's go slow, so we'll go. But is it pregnancy brain, you guys? Oh, there's a development in my clothes. I'm officially wearing pregnancy pants. I got shorts. Look at this. Officially wearing pregnancy shorts because mine don't fit anymore. And uh, they go all the way up here. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, here you go. I'll give you one, two, three, four. One, two. Wouldn't it be nice? Okay. If that's too slow, let me know afterwards. They're super comfy. But I'll give you those six beats. Four and then two. Here you go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Wouldn't it be nice? picking with me you don't have to do the C and um, how to play a minor 7 without the ukulele slipping we have that let me do that part real quick I'm doing the thumb and uh, let me mark it so the question was, how do you keep the ukulele from slipping on A minor 7, the chord with no fingers on it? So I'm doing, using the thumb, and right here where I have the meat of the finger mark, look up real quick. Thank you! Thank you! Cheers! Vijayanad. Vijayanad. Thank you. So I have it right there. And that's how I hold it. And then, why don't we do C7? We're not doing C7 if you're doing the picking part because that's where you're doing this. If you're doing that picking little, that little lick, then that's why not, why we're not doing it there. And uh, thank you, I like that little bowing hair. I have a little bit left. <laughs> Cheers to you and your health. Thank you so much for that gift. Alrighty, let's try it again. One, two, welcome, Andrea. One, two, three. Oh no. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, I'm getting a few questions about the picking. Um, if you're looking at the principle, you have the pattern on there. Hi, Mr. Z! Okay, so we have G, C, E, A. These are the names of your strings, right? Okay, so these are your strings. On A string, I want you to pick only the A string. Open. And then on a string three, 
then one, and then three. And the words that are landing on here are wouldn't, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be, okay? And if you notice on um, the chords, it starts on the word nice. So this is just a little intro that you can do. Um, I'm looking at the last four notes of the tab. Not the first four, the last four notes of the tab at the very end of it. <coughs> the last four notes of the tab are the very, got it. Okay, good. They're what are gonna, they're the notes that are gonna get you into this chord. So it's gonna be and then start on F. And then you can do because it's the same notes. Do you have to do it? No, you could do it just in the beginning and you're good. Anytime you have this, listen to it real quick. Anytime you have dun, 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 on the singing, that's where you could add those that little lick. You don't have to do it. You can just do the singing. Wouldn't it be nice if we were on the and we wouldn't have to wait so long? Wouldn't it be? It's a dun, 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 dun. You can just sing it. I'm just giving you this extra just to have something extra. And then Andrea, I have a video called How to Read Tab. It's like day four or five of the 30 day uke challenge. So if you just look for 30 day uke challenge, you'll find it. So I'm gonna play this a little faster, just exactly how to make it fancy as Sheepercorn is saying. I'm just teaching you how to make it fancy. because I did a Zoom lesson right before this. Then cheers, Jan! Cheers to Jan. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take my prenatal vitamins in name of Jen to your house. <laughs> cheers, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Z. Okay. It's a good reminder. Okay, do we understand those last four notes leading into this? Or should I go slower? And um, the strumming pattern I'm using is just a standard island strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. For anything with four beats, for anything with eight beats, do it twice. And for anything with two beats, just do two beats. This is two beats. This beat is good, okay. Let's do it like four more times just to feel it. And then we'll play more of the tab. Okay, here we go. I'll give you six beats. One, two, three, four, one, two.
feeling was that too fast i went significantly faster that time and let's all drop some hearts in the chat for florence thank you okay you guys are gonna come with me to get some water because uh i ran out i was doing the zoom lesson with the kids it was so cute they prepared little performances for me and um and i was able to like give them feedback on what like i loved about the performance and the little tweaks they could do to make their like strumming sound better it was so cute like one kid played and sang l-o-v-e by nat king cole it was so good like what kid does that he was like 13 14 maybe 15 I love that. And he had like an older sounding voice too. They were all um, teens, like early teens. I'm on day 22 of the challenge. Wow, nice. You're at the home stretch. I'm slowly getting it. I got my left arm out of a brace. I will get it. Yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it. You know, the people that have been here a long time will tell you that like, there are some days you get stuff and some days you don't. And then when you come back to it, it just magically works. Getting it. Thanks for clarifying the picking. Yeah, I wanted to just teach the the intro into the song first because everyone can do it. Whether you master it today or in a few days, everyone can do it. Okay, so somebody asked about the cat. Oh, it was Anna, right? She's right there. So cute. So the Zoom class is just, um, I think what some schools are doing because they can't meet in person. So um, it's not like a general class. It's a school. And the principal came in and stuff. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was kind of, I mean, they asked me how I got into YouTube and I told them like, <laughs> I hated the emails, I hated the extra meetings, I hated like the bus duty. I, I thought, you know what, this is not for me and that's why I quit the school and the principal was right there. <laughs> but I was like, hey, it's my story, like it's exactly what happened to me. I was like, I love the kids, I love teaching, I hated all the extra jobs. So, um, that's, that's what I said. It's my truth, so, yeah. <laughs> I felt a little bit like, ooh, it's uncomfortable, but I have to be honest. And she has to know. She has to know why a really good teacher left the school system. And I'm not turning my own horn. I just know that the kids really enjoyed the class and they were learning. And the school system lost me because they gave me a million other jobs. Honesty is the best policy. I know that feeling. Yeah, like you just want to do your job. And they give you so many tasks that get in the way of you doing your job. <laughs> Okay, let's do it two more times and then we'll learn more of the picking because the picking is challenging. Okay, here we go. I'll give you six beats. One, two, three, four, one, two. Don't sing if I tell you when to play. Let me try that again. I think I think that might be feeling better. Good? Okay, good. I want to introduce more little licks like that into our playing so that we're not just always strumming, you know, or doing a picking pattern, but so that we do a little bit of melody. Okay, sweet. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. better at teaching it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
One, two. F. So Karen brought up a great question. This is a two beat phrase. That's why I'm not saying one, two, ready, go. I'm not saying one, two, three, four. I'm saying one, two, and this is your three, four. One, two, three, four. So yes, I am gonna strum two fewer beats here because they're being stolen by the little lick. That's why we're not playing that C7 here, because it's being stolen by the little lick. So we're adding something, so that means that we have to take away. Remember in math class, you have to keep both sides of the equal sign balanced. <clears throat> so that's how we maintain balance. So is it four drum down strums? On F, it would be six, right? Eight minus two. And C7 minus two, it's zero. So that's why we have no C7. Here we do it again. Eight minus two is six. And then, um, are we doing it after the B flat? Yeah, it's just happening on the Fs and the C. Okay? All right, so let's do this and play the entire verse. Okay, let's do this intro, play the entire verse, and then we'll focus on the whole intro. And the, uh, the strumming pattern that we're doing is down, down, up, up, down, up. If you need an alternate strumming pattern or something easier, just give me downs. And I'm a fan of, if you're gonna do down strums, just do down, 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 up, down, 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 up, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. That's exactly how you do it. You let the chords ring. Yes, exactly. That would be, this would be kind of like an intro, like dip your toes into chord melody if you've never done it before. You want the chords, the strings ringing. It kind of is like setting a foundation. And thank you, Carrie, for taking care of the chat. Thank you, Sol, as well. Thank you, Mons, for keeping the chat focused. Here we go. Let's do the whole verse with our little lick in the intro. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. Did that feel? Um, how many songs did you do during your life? It's just one song, and the principal is down below, and in the chat, the um, mods are also sharing the principal link. This song always reminds me of 50 First Shades. Yes! Okay, so if you haven't mastered that yet, go ahead and spend some time today working on that. I know that you can do it. It's just a matter of like getting your brain and your hand to listen to each other. I get lost on the timing when switching to from C 
7 to D minor. Okay, let's start on the second line of the verse. 1, 2, second line of the verse. 1, 2, ready, go. So you have G minor 7 for 2, C7 for 2, and land on D minor dramatically. G minor 7, C7. No, it's gonna make it that much better. Okay. Now let's look at the entire intro. For this, you really do need to look at the principle. I do not have a long enough board to fit. Um Debbie, if you could please take a picture of how your hand looks playing B flat and post that on Euglandia, we can help you with B flat. It really helps to see somebody's um, hand position to help them with their, like how to improve a chord. Can someone join to the Zoom meeting? What Zoom meeting? I was in part, like the class I joined today was kids. Can I suggest B flat for B flat six? Um, what is the fingering for B flat six? Love the chord melody, thank you B. Yay, thank you Clary. Okay. So this song has a really nice intro and I like that it's high sounding. Um, zero, two, one, one. Ah, like a G minor six. If you're struggling with that B flat, do G minor seven for six beats. Yeah, that's another modification. If you're having a hard time with these chord switches, just do F and G minor seven. finger picking so we're gonna learn this together i can make the sheets but i'm not very good at writing them and can somebody write the name of euclandia so that uh our, yeah euclandia is our facebook group thank you yep yeah, that's it okay so looking at the tab we have a zero and we have a nine you're gonna have to use the dots i'm using the dots on the side of my ukulele I know that the first one's at five, I know the next one's at seven, and I know the next one's at 10. So I'm gonna pick open, and then I have nine. And then 12, 12. Luckily, I have the dots there at 12. So I have zero, nine, 12, 12. And it's not even, it's not da, 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 it's swung. Bum, 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 bum. It took me ages to work out the dots. <laughs> That's the first bit. I'm looking at the first four notes under the A chord on the intro. Now, if you look, we do have an A chord that happens again, a little bit further down the line. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because it's the same four notes. So you've literally learned already eight of the notes. Plus, if you add the four that you already know from the intro, then you've got 12 notes mastered. Okay, so how am I positioning the fingers? I am playing open, no fingers. And then, let me see, nine with the index. And pinky and ring are playing that 12, 12. Hi, Jess. 
Jessica, welcome. So nine is on index and pinky and ring on 12. Let me know once you've got these four. Then I need to use my pinky mark. This is great practice for the pinky. It's making us realize like, wow, what do you do? Do you just stand there? Like you hold the iPhone all day long. Come on, work. I got it. Yeah, Pinky hates to move. Now I want you to experiment with what also creates a nice sound on the right hand. Um, I, I would like to hear from Sebastian Profe right now on how the best posture is. I'll also tell you what I've seen. Um, being, it would be really great to do July Morning by Uriah Heep. Let me screenshot this because I don't know that song. We have this festival here in Bulgaria named after the song. I am writing this from a tent on the beach. Wow, living the life. So I've had my friends um, who pick a lot. Actually, the thumb is perpendicular to the ukulele. And it's not bending at the joint like this, not like this. It's actually pretty straight. Okay. So that's how I've seen some of my picking friends pick with a straight thumb. And they'll actually move up and down. But I also want to hear from Profe how he picks. But that might produce a nicer tone for you. I can't find orange. Okay, so we've got those four notes. Let's move to the next four notes. Nine, ten. Nine, nine, ten, twelve, nine. That one's easy. It's all one thing, all one uh, string. Nine, ten, twelve, nine. Thank you, son. While I'm pressing, I'm holding down the other one. You don't have to lift the fingers off after you've played, you can leave them down. Okay, so the first part. If you add them both. I do my thumb as a thumbs up and more like from the side. So I'm guessing more at an angle. Okay. Okay, so adding the first two parts. Z zero, nine, twelve, twelve, and then nine, ten, twelve, nine. So now practice putting those eight notes together. And I know that I'm really, really working you here, but it depends on how it feels more comfortable for you. Can you use the ring, ring finger instead of the pinky on the second part? Yes, you definitely can. Definitely. My brain is imploding. <laughs> So that's the first eight notes. Remember to swing them a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. This will be my frog for the week. Awesome. So that means you're learning something or stretching yourself. Thank you, Edna. 
So zero, nine, twelve, 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 nine, ten, twelve, nine. Oof. Sounds so pretty. You're very, very talented. Thank you. And the kitties are right now. One is with my mom and the other one's asleep. <laughs> but thank you. And thank you, Alvin. And what is a good technique for D chord? The three little stars close to each other. <clears throat> oh. I like using ring, a middle ring and pinky. Uh, some people like doing like a G chord, but there and squeezing it into that fret. And other people like to bar two strings and then the third one with the ring. So find one that works for you. Everyone, everyone's hands are different. Alrighty, how are you doing on those first eight notes? Not good, not so great, pinky problems. Um, Karen is not using the pinky. Karen is using the ring and the middle there. So if you want to use the ring and the middle instead, try that. Karen is the queen of making things simpler. Getting there, okay. Sweet. Ah, uh, yes, much better. Thank you. And thank you, Karen, for sharing the tip. I'm half barring with my ring finger. Okay. Barbara got it. Yay. It's a really cool intro. It's one that'll take us like a week to really master. But um, I think once we have it, if you have played the song and then like played that little intro and then started... It's just gonna be such an impressive song, you know? If you're having a hard time now, this, mean this, is, this means this is a perfect song for you because it's gonna take you to a new level of playing. <clears throat> I can manage well without pinky and just the first three fingers. Okay, so Clara is using just index middle ring. So if you wanna do just index middle ring, do it. And yay! Bunch of people are getting it, awesome. So we've got the first eight notes, zero, Nine, twelve, twelve, nine, nine, ten, twelve, nine. Now we're under the B minor. Let's tackle the next four notes. We've got eleven, ten, and twelve. So let's find a good position for the hand to be on eleven, ten, and twelve. I kind of like that G minor shape. Look up real quick. So kind of like we would be a G minor, but if you move that all the way down to um, 10, 11, 12. But let's, but then we have to go to a nine. So I don't know if you want to move the index finger I might do it with index middle pinky. I know some of you guys don't like using the pinky. But if you do, look, look, look. You can just lift the pinky, have the index finger ready. <clears throat> so look up real quick. Do an E minor shape. Look up on the second fret. And move that all the way down to the 9th, 10th, and 11th frets. And then... Add the pinky on the 12th. <laughs> Look up, I take a shot every time. <laughs> so you would do, and that's not bad. That one's actually pretty easy. Okay, so who gave that super chat? Debbie, thank you. 
Debbie says, thank you, Miss Bien Prof. So, awesome. Gracias, profe. How does that one feel? That one feels a lot better for me than the other ones. Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, Jennifer. That one's really comfortable. So let's do, um, thank you, Ackerman. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Pretty sound. Cheers to your health, Mr. Ackerman. Okay, <clears throat> that one was good. Let's stop there while we're, while we're good. And on a high note, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let's do the next four notes and then we'll glue those eight together. We have 10, 12, 9, 10. So let's find a nice shape for that. Well, we're still on the nine here on the A string. And then we'll need 10 and 12. So 10, 12. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> As I do it wrong. Okay, look up. It sounds like Farajaka. Okay, so what do I have going on here? I have that same E minor shape, but just two of those notes. And then we have the 12 on A. La lechuza, la lechuza hace, is that how it goes in Spanish? La, 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 la lechuza, la lechuza. Is that how it goes? Um, so Karen wants to hear it. I think I have it on my, I don't want to play the actual song. Let me see. But I made the tab. Oh my gosh. Karen, you just gave me an idea. Since I made the tab, I can release the audio. Oh, duh. I'll release the audio for you guys to practice. Okay. Way too fast. There's a way to change tempo on here. I forget how to do it. Um, let me see. Play pack speed muse score. I just don't like the way it sounds here because um, it's not swung. I'm looking for a way to change the speed. FM. Okay, view, play panel, got it. That's it. Again. I can release this audio if you want to practice with it, but what I don't like about it is that it's so straight and I would want it swung. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see. Let me see if I can 
make mm -mm. That sounds terrifying to learn. So, um, Karen wanted to hear it on... Uh, yeah, I'll release the audio for you guys. I'll put it somewhere. I'll throw it on my Patreon, but I'll make it free for everyone. And that way you can all practice. I'll loop it. I'll find a way to swing it. Um, okay. So we were at the D, under the D, I'm scared now. I think that once we get it straight, swinging will be easier. You're right, Amanda, let's focus on getting it straight. You're right. We're under D chord now. We had Lucy, love your lessons. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucy. Cheers. Okay, we're under D chord. Give me fret nine, 10, and we're gonna do 10, 12, nine, 10. So those two, I think you can have the same index finger, middle finger position. Remember we had the ring finger, we're at, at the B minor. We had I think this one is pretty comfortable. B minor to D. Because nothing is really moving um, off. Again, look up. Okay, so the position that we have for B minor and D is fret nine, 10 and 11. Like you imagine you're doing an E minor, but starting on fret nine. Exactly, that's so all said. Exactly, Cavani, it's an E minor position and the pinky is the one doing the work here. So we're gonna do play each string and then add the pinky on 12 of A string. Let's just do that. Let's just hang out here. Relax the hand, let it breathe. Hi, Steven. Siri thinks I said hi, Siri. <laughs> okay, now let's do it again. Go to fret nine. Give me an E minor shape. Okay. And now start on the E string. Give me 12 on the E string. A string, don't move anything. You were already in the good position. Your Siri activated too. <laughs> Look up real quick so I can show you those two and then you can try. I moved everything, Jen, you're so funny. You're not far, you're really close. Okay. Let's go to the next A. You already know that one. Might have forgotten it already. I know I did, but that's the first four notes. We got zero, nine, nine, zero, nine, ah. Zero, nine, twelve, twelve. That was the beginning. Remember Karen recommended using the ring and the 
middle there. So if that is easier for you. <laughs> what was that? And Laura's like, so pretty, I'm trying not to fall asleep. And uh, for my advanced people, if you want to do a little squeeze, like look up, like a little wiggle there. Just a little like this. If you've ever seen violinists or cello players do this while they hold a string, that's to get a little vibration and it sounds so beautiful. Just a little one. Don't exaggerate. Don't bend the string because that's going to go. We're not rocking out right now, but like a little. It just like has a little, my fingers are already wobbly. Perfect, you'll get a vibrato. <laughs> but guitar players, like now that we're here, you could try bending your string just for fun. Just I'm putting all three fingers, pick and bend up. We've seen like rockers are like bending the nose. That's what they're doing. Look out, Eddie Van Halen in the house. But anyway, um, I just want you to start getting comfortable with playing more of the fingerboard. Like, is it scary? Yes. Is it uncomfortable? Yes. Why? Because these frets are tiny. Look at that. They're like almost half the size of what we're used to. The bendy thing is so cool, yeah. So we're playing on a lot smaller space. Not only that, look at the action there. The strings are a lot higher there. So I'm testing your strength. I'm testing your ability to play on way smaller frets. Plus, it's easy to lose count of where we're at because we're so much higher on the fret. What did Van say? I'm just waiting for it to break and regret my life choices. So know that I'm pushing you super hard today, like super duper hard. And I keep wiggly and squeezing the wrong hand. <laughs> um, but you know, we don't grow if we don't go somewhere new. So this is our new uncharted territory. You paid for the whole fingerboard. Let's use it. Yes, the action is a lot higher, exactly. It's a lot higher here. I'm loving this channel, a challenge moving our boundary. And it's a challenge for me too. You can tell like, this is not my strength. I can't play the whole thing yet, but you know, I'm tired of avoiding this. So we're gonna do this together. So now let's do the F sharp minor. And the F sharp minor is the same. So A to F sharp minor is the same, which is very good news for us. Because that one was kind of easy. It's 9, 10, 12, 9. And we're going to get that callus on the pinky that we need to make those notes sound clearer. So proud of our teacher. Thank you, profe. So we have... A and F sharp minor. Okay. And I'm just going to go to the next bar, which is the last one, just because we're reaching the hour here. And I want you to have this video to fall back on if you need to practice. We have 9 and 12 on C string. So that's our thickest string. So that is going to maybe feel more comfortable or maybe more uncomfortable. We have 9, 12. And then you know the other part already because we've done it here. We're just going to add an extra O. So, we have a lot of homework. I think this is one that we'll practice again. Um... I want to practice it too because I want to get it <laughs> so close. But, you know, like we've got pieces of it. 
um, if you need to mark your ukulele, um, I'll link these down below actually. These are like $8 a pack. They're these, look, they're these inlay stickers. I made a video about them on my Instagram, but they also have these little dot ones. <coughs> that are kind of nice. I'm gonna use one right now to mark. I think I wanna mark my ninth fret because that would be super helpful. Okay, they have these little tiny little flowers. Look at that. They're tiny, they're like a fret marker. <clears throat> I'm gonna use one right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the ninth fret and throw that right smack in the middle. And these are kind of made to be, look like abalone, which is the decoration. I'll link them in the description. Okay, now I've got that, and it's not like so invasive of the uke that it takes away from it, you know? It's just like a nice little... And do the flowers hold up under string bending, or the stickers? I think if you stick them on well, Yeah. How do you go from the bottom to the top so fast? You go there fast because you have zero. So you um looking at the last bar where we have the C strings, we have the 9 12 9 12 and then I have dots, but I'd like some on the side of my uke. Um, yeah, it helps to have the ones on the side of the uke. Um, I would probably use like white out the liquid paper. Nail polish, exactly. Nail polish on the side might work. On the top, I don't know if it would work. I would be afraid of what that polish could do to the wood. But these are made specifically for instruments. So um, I'll link them down below just in case you want to um add stickers it, that's gonna be super helpful for me because so much of these so many of these notes start on nine so that's gonna be helpful that's it It's pretty close it's pretty close it's almost there for me too so um enjoy practicing make sure to take breaks like this cat over here <laughs> breathe that's not my chair anymore <laughs> brilliant thank you so much i couldn't play the u before march wow that's awesome and I cannot play and practice a couple of hours a day. Awesome, Jen. So you probably have pretty decent calluses over here on these three fingers. So with this practice, you'll definitely develop calluses on that pinky and the notes will sound better. Right now, they might not sound so clear because they're mushy. This is mushy. But uh, once you get this a little harder, you'll get a nice little ring. We're three likes away from 200 giving my like. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who's watching and not participating in the chat. I appreciate that you're here, that you come to lesson, that you come to class. Know that I am so happy that you're here. Thank you to all the moderators who can help answer questions in the chat and who help me um, by reading comments and answering anything that I can't get to and uh, getting rid of the annoying people because <laughs> we have those all the time. Special thanks to Profe for being here, for recommending that um, B flat six slash G minor seven instead. I love that uh, that recommendation and it sounds really good. And thank you to all of you who participated in the chat. Thank you for all the super chatters. Cheers again to all of you. Thank you for your gifts. Um, so yeah, definitely go join us on Patreon for the ukulele activity book. I will export this audio i'll make it a loop so that it goes over and over again i'll do it slow 
and then I'll release it on Patreon today. I'll just do it right now. And um, it'll be free. So just go to patreon.com slash Bernadette Teaches Music and I'll put it for free there. And if you listen to it, it'll help you get like your ear to the notes. I'll try to find a way to make it swung. If not, I'll upload it like that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it'll be too straight, but it'll work. It's a practice tool. And then <clears throat> the song I think that I was I had in my mind also reminds me of this one. It's um na 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 what is that na 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 pa pa na pa 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 na pa pa sa that's it that's it that's it yeah, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. You and me, happy together, that one. I thought it kind of went really well with this one. And uh, and so that's what I want to do for tomorrow. So come back tomorrow. I'm feeling some of those oldie love songs. <laughs> so let's do that. Spend some time today with this and uh, have fun. Remember to breathe. Unfold yourself. <laughs> and... Um, Oh, you asked for the song a while back. Awesome, awesome. Okay, perfect. Yeah, all right, you guys. Well, thank you so much from this lazy kitty and I. <laughs> she looks so funny. She's like so relaxed, completely out of the food chain, like not a care in the world. Her face is like smushed like this. <laughs> so funny. Thank you all so much. I had so much fun on this lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I am interested in moving on to creating a Zoom lesson. Now that I've done it, I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. So um, I, I'm more open to it. I think it would be nice to do a lesson for it. So uh, yeah, keep bugging me on that until I do it. How about that? Alrighty, guys. Love you so much. Take care. Sayonara!